North American Grain Export Association. Uh, Jill Hafner, Rice Miller's Association, Mr. President. Ed Anderson, National Grain, Mr. President. Vero Bailey, Corn Growers. Joanne Smith, the Cattle Association. Joanne Smith, the President of the Cattle Association. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, will you veto the Farm Bill? Mr. President, will you veto this bill? It's, uh, <laughs> we haven't even opened the meeting yet. <laughs> no questions. Well, the growth is down, Mr. President. It looks like 2% uh, for the year instead of 5%. Are you going to revise your estimate down? No, one, no questions. I say we're just waiting to get the meeting underway. <laughs> Mr. President, let me open it by introducing you to these uh, farm leaders and agricultural and agribusiness leaders from all across the United States. They've spent an hour with me earlier this morning. Uh, they look, uh, they've been looking forward to this meeting with you, and they're all delighted to be here. And uh, I'll just turn it over to you at this point. Well, I'll only take a moment. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here to talk about American agriculture, and I don't have to tell any of you about how serious the problems are that are facing uh, the American farmers. We're committed to working with the Congress to develop a farm bill which allows farmers to become more competitive in world markets, while at the same time not harming our overall fiscal policy. We want a, a long-term solution, not a Band-Aid approach. I know that <coughs> Secretary Block has shared your concerns with me. It's, uh, I always welcome an opportunity to hear firsthand what's on your minds. So <coughs> I'll turn the meeting over to you and Look forward to your suggestions. Mr. President, <coughs> one of the, excuse me, let's, let's let the press news out. First. How are you feeling, Mr. President? Before your time. That question I'll answer. <laughs> <laughs> Just fine, it feels well. He'll answer that. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't want to say this while they were still in here, but <coughs> raising a few myself and uh, butchering myself, don't you love that question when someone says, you, you raise them? You, yes. And then you can kill them? <laughs> <laughs> Knowing cattle, I usually reply, I can hardly wait. <laughs> Mr. President, I think some of the important points that, that I'd like to make is that, that the agricultural policy that is developed with this Farm Bill really has to, to reach the realities of the situation. Right now we've got from one-fourth to one-third of the farm debt that cannot be serviced, uh, a situation that, that in some ways uh, converts agriculture to a drag on the economy rather than a contributor to the economy. We've got a situation where, where we're kind of proposing an experiment in, in world markets, 
Uh, we don't know really how elastic that world market is and what it's going to cost really to, to get the prices down uh, to the extent that, that we can recapture that, that market share. So, so we have a, a situation here where agriculture needs to fit into the, to the rest of the economy and contribute. The problem being, can we really have a radical departure from, from I'm not talking about a continuation of the present bill, but I'm talking about a radical departure of, of in, from uh, farm policy and still have as much agriculture out there as we want. Uh, in, in all honesty, and it hurts me very much to say this, because I'll say right now that I'm, I'm a Republican, but in the Middle West, where I am from, the, 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 uh, the, what people are feeling about the administration's proposal puts the Senate in jeopardy in the next election, and it's very painful for me, for me to say that. Well, it's painful for me to hear it also, although I've been aware of this, this problem, but uh, my own feeling is that we have two problems. One is a short range with regard to those uh, farmers in a desperate state, principally because of uh, our success in reducing inflation to the point that land values, which had gone up as an inflation hedge uh, and against which borrowing had been done, have now gone down uh, with this control of inflation. I don't think we can be blamed for wanting to control inflation, but it is a temporary situation and some people made to suffer. So a short-range program to help that. In the long range, we think that we should, we should recognize that government has been the problem for a long time. And that government has created an, an artificial situation. So government recognizing that can't be the first to just pull the rug out when an industry, an entire industry, has gotten used to that kind of setup. But we look forward to a program that can, over a period of time, which people would see targeted down here, get farming into the back into the marketplace and out uh, in the market economy uh, without this government interference that we've had. 